The Southern Baptist Convention continues to face harsh criticism after a report alleged it mishandled abuse allegations and stonewalled survivors. Now leaders plan to release a list of pastors and church staffers involved. News Channel 5's Amelia Young live this morning. And do we know when they will release this list? Well, Amy, there's no timeline as of right now for that, but we do know that there are hundreds of names on that list, all accused of some sort of sexual abuse. Now, it's going to be released from the SBC Executive Committee, which is based right here in Nashville. The announcement came yesterday, two days after the 288-page report was released by Guidepost Solutions, an independent investigation company, after a seven-month-long investigation. It detailed how the committee mishandled sex abuse allegations and Stonewall numerous survivors. Those survivors and advocates have long called for a public database of abusers and one of the key recommendations from the report is to create an offender information system. Administrators will also be looking into revoking retirement benefits for committee staffers who were involved in the cover up. The allegations now in the public eye have also prompted even more survivors to speak out. The truth is at this moment phones are ringing at the executive committee at Guidepost and at other Baptist entities with more survivors who are coming forward in this very moment to report and acknowledge their own abuse within the SBC. The SBC leaders have also promised change within the church culture that came following the announcement that they would be releasing that list.